Let's create ourselves a shopping list application with Ionic and Angular Fire V5. This will be using the real-time database, but the latest APIs, because there was recently an API change which completely broke everything in the previous version of this course, but now we're updating this with the newer version. So firstly, ensure that you have Node.js installed, and after that, Ensure that you have Ionic and Cordova installed by using npm install Ionic Cordova G. After that, we can create a new project with the Ionic command line interface by saying Ionic start, and I will call this the Ionic shopping list. We'll base this on the blank template, so let's use blank as the template option and hit enter. This will go ahead and fetch the application base and both the starter template. It will create all of the files and run npm install, so it may take a couple minutes to complete. After this has been completed, we can then run cd ionic shopping list. Awesome, we've got a project that we can then open with Visual Studio Code by using code dot. You don't have to use VS Code for this project, you can use whatever you want. It just so happens that I'm a big fan of VS Code. Now that we have this project open, we're going to make the homepage lazy loaded in the next lecture. That's done by creating a module file for our homepage and adding the Ionic page decorator.